Bring It On. Rebel Wilson is giving us all something to cheer about. The Pitch Perfect star has been having a blast on the set of her new movie, Senior Year. Rebel plays a teen cheerleader who fell into a coma, then wakes up two decades later to finish out her last year of high school. In photos from the set, Rebel rocked a golden green cheerleading uniform, a look that showcased her slim physique. She completed the outfit with a classic cheer bow and a sky-high ponytail. The Australian beauty gave fans a peek at her best cheer moves, too. In an Instagram boomerang, she leapt into the air by the lockers, captioning it with words of encouragement. Cheer for yourself today and always. She also showed off her and her squad skills when they filmed an impromptu TikTok between takes. On top of all that, Rebel gave us a glimpse of herself out of her cheer uniform and in a very early 2000s outfit. She and Angowry Rice, who plays the younger version of her character, twinned in pink camis and low-rise flares. Rebel is clearly having a busy year. Before shooting senior year, she was off working on The Almond and the Seahorse. She previously shared a photo from set where she was posing in a wetsuit by the sea. Rebel's fast-paced 2021 comes after a transformative 2020. The actress deemed last year as her year of health and focused on her fitness, ultimately losing roughly 60 pounds. In an Instagram Live with fans last year, she opened up about her decision to make her health a priority. I've always wanted to be healthier, but I either just like didn't feel like I had the time or um, felt like, oh, well, you know, making a lot of money, being bigger and, um, you know, it's part of my um, comedic persona in a lot of ways. and. And, you know, so I would, I would question, sometimes I would lose a few kilos, but then I'd gain it back. Like, I don't know whether you guys can relate to that. Like, yeah, I'll try this diet or go really hard on the exercise for a while and then, um, and then kind of gain it, gain it back. But I was determined in 2020, the year of health, to actually fully change, like, my whole in, entire lifestyle. So it meant not only, like, physically, um, but uh, mentally as well. Um, and, and weirdly, the, the mental kind of emotional side turned out to be the, the biggest thing for me because I guess you can all logically learn what's healthy to eat and how much exercise you should do and stuff. Um, but it was the emotional stuff about realizing why I was overeating, why I was emotionally eating. Um, and trying to solve that.